Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. I had to try to go to the bathroom before I came on. You know, my schedule's been all weird because I've been getting on early. So my poop schedule's off. Hi, Tim. Good morning. So the whole pooping and I didn't want to, you know, sorry. I hit it and then I was like, let me try to poop. Didn't work, didn't work. So I can't guarantee I won't be off and pooping my brains away. You know what I mean? What did you miss? Well, Christopher, we're talking about poop, feces, feces. You know what I mean? I need the whole story. <laughs> well, I walked upstairs. I pulled down my pants, then my underwear, and then I sat on the toilet. Then I got positioned and then I got my phone, right? And then I started looking at shit, not shit, but stuff on the videos. You know, my videos, see how they're doing so far. Um, no, it hasn't hit yet. It hasn't hit. So I had coffee this morning. Yeah, I had coffee for the first time in a long time. So I'm talking a little weird from the coffee. My Red Bull doesn't give me a zinc like this. Uh, excuse me. Hi, Diane. Thank you, Diane. What's it? Uh, Y'all, I've been so super. That'll get me so Yeah, it wasn't much of a, a log. It was kind of a short and stubby rabbit turd. You know what I mean? No, not yet. Good morning. So, I got up early. Some of you saw my video. Uh, animals, creams. <coughs> Fucking. <coughs> Patricia, everybody poops. Patricia, everybody poops. Um, so do you. Uh, I like talking about feces. I like talking about other things. So if you don't like it and it's TMI, this will not be the channel for you. I can guarantee that. You know what I mean? Because Patricia, my right titty's hanging out. Patricia, my right titty's hanging out. And I know you're thinking, your breasts aren't that big. And I explained that in my video. But this one's a demi bra. And the right one has popped out of this one for years. And I keep wearing it. When am I gonna learn? Tame the titties. Tame the titties. And I know, I know. <laughs> Trigger warning. <laughs> this channel talks about everything in life that is there, titties, vulvas, lips, clitorises, uh-huh, buttholes, yep, phalanges, metatarsals, shins, buttocks, yep, sure do, leaking, you know, my bladder leaks because I've had three kids and it's practically falling out of my vagina, we talk about that, oh, Sue, Hope everything went well. Uh, I am an in-between cup, Robin. That's why I don't mess with cups. I just wear sports bras. Yep. Only sports bras for the titties. Robin, I'm a negative A. I'm a negative A. When I, back in the day, when I used to wear bras, I would go in the Target section, in the budding preteen section, John Kirk, this isn't an airport. No need to announce your departure, nor your arrival. I don't know why people think the need. Oh, oh, this channel is so fucking rude. I can't handle real life shenanigans. John Kirk, people have sex. Do you know that? Do you have kids? Do you know how kids are made? Hot dog in the bun. You extract a seed. It meets the egg, and then you penetrate a baby. Oh, my God. I can't believe she's talking about such fucking things. <laughs> she's talking about the anatomies of people. We got to keep those private. We, 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 we don't talk about those things. Blasphemy. Off with her head. What is this woman? She is prude, rude, and crude. No shit. <laughs> there you have it. 
Um, <laughs> he offended himself by not allowing to speak, you know? Can you imagine his kids? Daddy, what's that called? Oh, honey, we don't talk about that. Honey, we can't. No, it's not up for discussion. Figure it out in your own time. Figure it out in your own time. Um, Daddy, what's that brown stuff that came out of my bottom? Oh, we can't talk about that. It's your body's garbage. Getting rid of it from your system. That's all you need to know. Daddy, how are babies made? God. God. Babies aren't made. They are brought to us from a baby stork. I say I feel like a girl and one drops one down in my hands. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, we don't talk about those things. Uh-uh. Oh, the stork, yep. Good morning, EJ. It's going to be a slippery slope today. <laughs> Daddy, why are you so mean to mommy? That is, never mind. <laughs> uh, anyhow, <laughs> he probably is one of those people that doesn't even let his wife breastfeed. <laughs> no. We gotta keep those titties in. We cannot share your titties to the world. They are here on your body, but yet we cannot use them to feed our children. We can't talk about it, and I don't want my baby sucking on your titties. Oh. Hi, Betty. Um, Carol, we interviewed today. I know, Lisa. Lisa, what's that, Mommy? It's a punchy. A what? You remember those kids who, when you started talking, <laughs> remember when you started talking about like your privates? And I said, I said it right. My mom said, that's your vagina. All right, use the accurate terms. Vagina. I remember one of my, um, one of my people, one of my friends was like, that's my punch. You're drinking punch? No, I would never drink a punch. What are you talking about? You know. No, I don't. You know what? Huh? Your vagina? Erica, I hope you said honeys. Boys, this is a penis. Nothing else. It's not a sword. It's not a whippersnapper. <laughs> it's not a doodleberry. It's definitely not the force. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I was very anatomically, 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 anatomically correct with my kids. Um, I also, so I, I also um, worked in a daycare center and I hated the kids who didn't say the right thing. It's my rose. What? So I was very, very specific. It's my va 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 how Lee to Lee to Low to Lee, I insisted to Sharon. I was, um, oh, John's still here. Oh, John, go bump your head again. I'm sorry you're so miserable today. I'm sorry I'm one of those Americans with humor 
that you, as a Brit, I don't know, whatever you are, Australian, um, Marzonian, a Uranus, doesn't understand the humor. But yet you're still here watching me. So there you have it. Enjoy. Thank you for the view. Um, hello in the Philippines. Um, we'll call it a piggy. A piggy? The vagina? A piggy? A piggy? A piggy? Here's the thing. If you said, show me your piggy, I would fucking punch you in the nose. Nobody wants anything to be named a piggy. That's not very, um, uh, what? No. Honey, can I diddle your piggy? What? I want to penetrate your piggy. What? What's a fucking piggy? It's not flattering. No. <laughs> Said front hiney. That's different. Your front butt. <laughs> My friend called it front butt. The back butt and front butt. <laughs> oh, shit. The pigster. Honey, break out the pigster. <laughs> huh? No, I don't like that. The cooch. Yeah, but the cooch is not. Free the cooch. I mean... It just doesn't, how, how is that attractive? You know, men who say that. I wanna touch your coochie. Hoochie coochie coo. I mean, remember when little older generation played with, you know, the kids and they said, hoochie coochie coo. Hoochie coochie coo. No. Ah. Abort. It's the vagine. Right, the vagine. The machine fur line pocket <laughs> what nobody wants a fucking fur line pocket barb just because yours is fur line doesn't mean everybody else wants that you know what i mean mine is prickly blind it's a porcupine pocket right now put your hand in i dare you you might get stabbed you might bleed uh her fine china <laughs> Now, that's kind of classy. Nobody's coming near my fine china. I like that. <laughs> uh, I smell delicious. My feet. Uh, Putin-ang. Poot. Poot, poot. The only thing that poots is my ass. I sure do not want to visit something that poots. Nope. Not going to do it. Um, so, anywho. They eat pork. <laughs> no, I know. I just, it's like Miss Piggy. No. Uh, what's a, my Spanish aunt called it a casita. My little house. <laughs> a little. It is a hot pocket. It's warm. Hey, Michelle. My fire. <laughs> the pooting. Poot, poot. You want to poot? Yeah, anywho, um, so as you can tell, I've been, I've been in a, in a, in a mood this morning. Pudding tang. You know, not another glorious term. Uh, yeah. may I suggest a gentle, it's like the Zoom room, people coming in, what's the story? Who? Can you explain that one more time? What did I miss? Uh, abort. No, I hate the C word. By the way, my daughter called me a C word the other day. I said, did you just call me a c She was giggling. The 20 somethings use it as a term of endearment. You know, kind of like how we're like, bitch, stop playing. Bitch, what? Stop being, what? So, yes. So the, it's like their bitch. She called me, we were walking up to the nail place. We were, and we were living, and I said, notice something. What are you doing? And she said. What are you doing? I'm fucking baking bread. Can't you see it? What's going on this morning? 
Why is it so early? Because, mom. What are you talking about, mom? Mom. Creams came in my side of the bed, meowing at me. Then I get up, and then I go back. I got nothing. No, I got nothing. No sex for you. You know what? I'm off the door, and I took your sex. Listen. Sally. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and then I come back into bed and Coda's in my spot with her head on the pillow. Yes, I'm aware of that. Yeah. You want to come say hi? I got to pee. No, I'm freezing. Hi, everybody. I it's too pee. damn cold for me to come out. I got to pee. It's early and cold. Yeah, and there was pee I cleaned up everywhere. The cat walked it over one thing that coffee does is it makes me pee 5,000 times. So that's why Dan's really pissed off at me, right? Is because the last couple mornings, he doesn't get sex, right? Because he knows at the end of the night, it's not going to happen. <laughs> casita. Come to my casita. Step inside. Wait for the gush to arrive. Touch my casita, yeah. Uh, so any, yeah, so any, she called me a C. I said, did you just call me a C? She said I did and giggled. I said, I hate that word. That's such a derogatory word. But I think they just throw it around like beach, you know? Um, yeah, he has energy for that. Of course he does, Susan, of course he does. He's a man. He thinks with one head and it's not the one on his neck. So every morning, the last three mornings, when he walks out, he says, what are you doing? It means, why aren't you here in my bed with your casita door open? I want your casita and I want it to be unlocked, waiting for me. I need it to be ready. I'm gonna come in and clean your casita. The casita. I agree. I, but a fine china is kind of nice too. Don't touch the fine china. She's gentle, right? It's a gentle tea cup and saucer. She's pretty, expensive, and she's meek. You know what I mean? Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Hope everybody's titties are fitting within their bras or their running bras. Whatever. My vagina's itchy. Once again, I shaved it yesterday, but apparently I have a seven o'clock shadow. Um, anywho, um, so I had, I woke up to a menagerie of animals this morning, pissing me off. I can't sleep. I can lock the door. Linda, let me tell you, my casita door has been locked for a long time. Uh, he, I tell him he's got a righty and lefty and tissues too. He doesn't do it in tissues. He does not. He does not. I won't tell you what he does in it. A shirt or underwear. What the fuck? Like, why do you have to do that? And then I pick it up and what happens? Crusty or fucking mushy, sticky. Uh, yeah, I agree. Like, if you're going to do that, which please do and leave me alone, Use a tissue and throw it away. I had to teach my son that. Can you believe, like, the first I always told Andrew when he started, I said, bruh, I don't care. You play away. You touch, you tickle, you do whatever you do. But I'm telling you one thing. Do not do it in the clothes that I pick up with my bare hands. If you do that and I ever touch something of yours, in a piece of clothing, I'm gonna take it, 
I'm gonna shove it in your face and smear it all over. Um, <laughs> Kathy, I don't know. I'm still supporting mine in graduate school. <laughs> so good luck. She's 25. I'm supporting 19, 23 almost, and 25. Good luck. Uh, don't listen, don't do as I do. It's probably the wrong way. Uh, bye, Cindy, love you. So yeah, so I taught Andrew. And then all of a sudden, I did, I see a fucking, um, I know Aaron, how cool is that? It's the slowest stretch to get to 100,000 on YouTube. Y'all tell your friends, come on. I just want to hit the 100,000. I'm almost there, I can taste it. And it's just so slow. That's the thing I hate about YouTube. It's so much, I'm still supporting Kathy. <laughs> I'm still supporting mine too. 30, it's gotta stop. I mean, at 30, I would hope I had enough common sense to say sorry, figure it out. But ask me in five years. <laughs> Anywho, so then we had to, Andrew got the tissue thing down, the toilet paper, um, and bring a roll. Andrew always has a roll up by his bed. And so we found out he was saving the wads. Um, I remember that very day. And I said, uh, mom, come up here. Why? Uh, Ma, you need to come up here. Needless to say, um, you go, I need to get on my walking pad. Do it. Do it, Adam. Um, needless to say, yeah, it was like a, a collection of many little babies, you know? In, yeah, and I said, son, uh, are we collecting these? Brennan wants to know why am I the only one looking after everything? Good question. Um, but Andrew works full time, so he's off the table. And he's my baby, and you know, I'm an enabler, so I obviously I'm an enabler to my whole family. That's why. Um, yeah, Kathy, at that point, like if Jennifer said, I'm gonna get my doctorate in law, I'd be like, you're on your own, <laughs> bruh, like, you're on your own. I also said, no, he was not embarrassed. He was not, a, he's like, I just forgot. Uh-uh, get your ass upstairs right now and throw away your shit. I don't wanna see a heap of fucking used tissues. He did, and now I don't look at her bed anymore. <laughs> I remember the first time mine grabbed the shampoo. Scream, scream like an ecstasy. Erica, what, I'm confused. Yeah, and Kathy, that's when you need to, you know. I think eventually, like 30, come on. And some, some kids make a habit, right? Uh, yeah, three more. a lot of toilet paper. I uh, got Dan blowing his nose. I got Andrew using it for his children, <laughs> you know? Uh, so, <laughs> and then, or my grandchildren. Yeah, my grandchildren upstairs and a lot of toilet paper. Hello, honey. <laughs> How many boys are in this one? <laughs> Any girls? <laughs> Yeah, and that's Kathy at that point. I'd be like, you're on your own. Uh, and already curious. Yeah. I remember the first time Aunt Tina Andrew was about five and he was curious. Asked me a question. I said, wait till you're seven. And then at seven, he asked me that question. And I said, wait till you're 10. And then he said, mom, you told me to wait till I was seven. So I told him. I told him. I said, all right. You know your penis? Yes, it has seeds in your balls, okay? So how do I get my seeds into a girl? <laughs> in your nose, mom, all right. In their ear, mom, all right. In their mouth, stop. All right, the belly button, mother. I remember this conversation and I had the rear view mirror like tilted up so he couldn't see my giggle. And I said, all right, you know your sisters have something different than you, right? He's like, yes. I said, well, 
you stick that in to not your sisters but that part of the woman and then your body does a weird thing and the seed goes in and hits the egg and you make a baby and he was like I put my what where does it go how does it go in there I said honey wait till you're 10 <laughs> wait till you're 10 uh, Susan, good morning. And then he said, well, how do babies come out? Through my belly button. Yep, we're sticking with that. Mom, fine. It, most of the time, can come out the vagina, but there are times it comes out the belly. I swear to goodness. Because <laughs> he was so curious, you know? I tried to pee on my belly button for years. <laughs> Melanie, what? Did you think he was peeing out of his belly button? I'm so confused. Yeah, you were safe for a minute. I was not. So me, Jennifer, and Hannah came out of your vagina? Yep. Just remember, my vagina was the first one you ever tasted and touched. Bro. <laughs> Melanie, that's funny. Yeah, imagine that. When your kids are pissing you off, that's what you say. You know? <laughs> that's what you say. Have a baby. She said, like, pooping out of water. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what, yeah. When your kids are pissing you off, Kurt, it's true. All the men are like, ugh. Mama! Yeah, sorry. Um, I say that all the time. Just remember whose vagina you tasted and touched first. That's right. Fist boom. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. I'm telling you, it's a great dinner conversation. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Men around the world right now. <laughs> How? Uh, 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 Mama, did you have me vaginally or did you have me C-section? Please tell me C-section. Please, please, please. <laughs> well, son, I had you naturally. <laughs> Honey, are you all right? I'm fine. Love you, bye. Uh, it's true. It's true. How does that feel, guys? How does that feel? How does that feel to know that if you weren't a C-section, well, you know, she's your first vagina ever. You tasted it coming out. You touched it all around. Your whole body touched it. Your whole body touched it. Not just like a finger or a little toe. Your head down to your toes and everything in between because we push you fuckers out you can't use that on them Sadie damn it you have a conversation live your bite <laughs> oh shit it's kind of gross when you think about it uh anyway happy <laughs> that would stop with the questions unfortunately Susan it did not my, my son, well, this is, that was a conversation <laughs> late teens. I think I did that two years ago. I saw a TikTok um, and I literally, um, I, I literally peed my pants. I have laughed so hard. Um, and I, and then I told my son that. I said, you know, son, what's interesting? He said, what? I said, how many vaginas have you had in your lifetime? I can tell you which one you started off with. What? You know, the like 18 year old brain. What? Man, what are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't even, it wasn't, I just gave it to him because it was so funny. I wanted to see 
what, how he, yeah, I said it. And when I said it, he looked at me, bruh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Did I taste, you remember what I tasted like? And that was just pushing it too far. He got up and left after that. I gotta pee. <laughs> try it. You need to try it. It's fun. It's, I like to torment my kids though. There's a difference. I'm evil. There's an evil side of me. I'm in the bathroom singing, come to my casita, step inside where everything is warm and tight, come to my casita, I promise you, you will have the time of your life, no, no, uh, I'm going to get some comments about that, but it was really funny, <laughs> uh, I do everything, Abita. I do everything, yard work, laundry, cleaning, carrying, food, yeah, washing, um, grooming. Somehow, I've taken over the whole kit and caboodle. Dan used to be in, in charge of, um, um, Dan used to be in charge of grooming and showering. Somehow, that has morphed into my doing with cutting of the nails, soaking the toe, pills man <laughs> yeah my job just keeps growing bigger and bigger fuck what am i doing to myself uh uh kurt i don't know which channel you, are you talking about on youtube no i don't have 47 million views uh-uh my husband has but he's been doing this um for like three years I've been doing TikTok for over a year and a half. YouTube, I just started probably a half a year ago. So I think I've done pretty well on YouTube considering I've only had it. Um, how do I do everything? I don't know. Some days I'm not quite sure. And I'm trying to read books on top of all that. Damn, I need to catch up on some on my TV shows too. I'm an enabler. See, Kurt, I don't even look at that shit. I don't even know. Um, yeah, this has been the slowest to get to 100,000. I'm like almost there. And once I hit 100,000, I'm gonna be so excited. But it's like that first 100,000, it seems like it takes forever to get there. Dan is the recliner man, yes. <sighs> um, so, yeah, I do it. I don't know. I'm just, I don't ever, you know, there's, I'm always up and down, you know, up and down, you know, come and check on Ed. Then I go do something, putz around, clean the bathroom. Then I come downstairs. I might sit a while, comment on my videos. Then I'll take a break, switch laundry, fold laundry, you know, come sit down, do more video stuff, trying to get content, that type of stuff. Uh, three kids three kids. It's Groundhog's Day every day in my house. I do the same shit. I'm always, um, yes, Abita. Yes. And Ed was on the other side of me because I was sitting in there with Ed. I have terrible mental health issues coming from the person attacking somebody on social media. Yeah. Seems like a winner. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I, I'm always up and down. Yeah, I take care of the animals. I go after this, I go outside with the dogs. I play ball with them, I clean up the poop. You know what I mean? It's 
It is. It's like Groundhog's Day for me every day. I can tell you what Ed's going to do at every given minute of the day, every hour on the hour, right? Um, I'm 49. Uh, these comments don't let that chip off. Yeah. I told you the comments are horrible. Um, today is casino day. Jake, don't talk to my friend that way. Don't talk to my friend that way. It's rude. Tony, you do what you want to. Don't listen to Jake. Uh, <laughs> Robin, <laughs> that's funny. Robin said, Danielle, you are an enabler. Shame on you. You have enabled me to look at my life and know I'm not alone in my pain. <laughs> You're welcome, girl. I got you. <laughs> I will. I will. I <laughs> Uh, see, I enable y'all too. Y'all were living the same lives, just with different people, different personalities, different crazies. But really, at the base of the, the root of the issue, the root of the fucking plant, flower, tree, and we're all the fucking same, right? Yeah. Here comes Jake, all his 411 of him with his little tiny chode coming in trying to boss my friend around. What is going on out here? Great. What are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing? YOLO? YOLO, Somo. let's go. Let's go, baby. Dion said when I was going pee, he said, when you get inside, straight to the shower and open up that casita door for me immediately. That's what I have to deal with. Clean that thing out. <laughs> Clean it out. I mean, what's it been? A couple of days? Oh. You've been festering in there? Oh. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about. Oh. Some... <laughs> it's festering. You know, I was watching this TikTok, and it's a psychologist, right? Yeah. And she said, you know, yeah, no. you want to subject yourself to a psychologist, I'm all over that. Can you listen? Yes. So she said, women, this is it. She said, oh, are you struggling? You with lack of sex? No interest? Right? Low desire? She said, well, you're a man. You are not getting your emotional needs your met. You're not getting your emotional needs met. Look, he left. He can't handle it. You can handle the truth, buddy. Emotional needs. Men think we're like robots. I want it. I want it now. Open up as we're like folding fucking laundry, cleaning the kitchen. Oh yeah, because my mind works that way, right? Open up. He ran away fast. He can't handle the truth. He can't handle being put on the spot. And then he slammed the door. Did you hear that? It was a slam. It wasn't just a light close. It was forced behind that. Mad. <laughs> what are those? Said every hubby. What are you looking for? I'm here, aren't I? I support you. If you need me, you know where to find me. God, how dare you say, ah, I'm not there for you. Every woman across the world. dad part you know like 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 the um you know that all the dads single dads take their babies to the park to get <laughs> jake the casita door is not the asshole which you think it is the casita door you is the vagina. talk to me when i walk through the door at the end of the day 
Ugh. It's just lay on the floor until you sweep them away. Why are you here singing? I this is my show. It's my you show. You couldn't wait to love me. Never wanted to leave me. <laughs> yeah, he gives me emotional needs. Sitting in that fucking black recliner with the door fucking shut. Honey, I'm here for you. You know where to find me. Come cry on my shoulder. I go and cry. Oh, I can't handle that. I have my own stress. My own stress. You don't know what stress is. Figure it out, Danielle. I can't take any more. I can't take any more. I can't take any more. You're a grown ass woman. I have made you who you are today. I get the fuck Get out of here. I have made you independent. I have made you a star. Without me. You would have been nothing, 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 because I don't have you. Ooh. Sorry, Whitney. Get out. Oh, my God. Get the fuck out. Good morning. Good morning. Good. He's so fucking annoying. Go away. Ugh, go play with tissues, Dan. Go play with tissues, Dan. Righty lefty. Righty tidy. Tidy tidy. With a little tickle. A little tickle at the tip. Just like how you like it. Grab <laughs> He's annoying. Y'all wonder why I have no mind. Y'all wonder why I'm cuckoo. Him. Him, and then the cherry on top is, yeah, is Ed. Where's Bill? Have you seen Bill? Bill, keys, fuck. <laughs> uh, oh no, we need to have a talk, LB. <laughs> Chris, Tony, where's Kim? Kim Barney, <laughs> Christine. Are you all here? Look at what you've done to my sweet LB. <coughs> I'm so lucky. My heart's bursting with flames, desire, and excitement. Woo! Women! All you thirsty women who think my husband's a catch, come on over. Take him away. Uh, <coughs> Come take them. Giselle, I've got one for you. Giselle, to a, uh, to, to, uh, I don't know. I can't think. Anywho, I'm not fucking tired. GSR, me too, girl. What's happening? <laughs> Shit. Okay, Christine, Kim Barney, Sweet Emily just came in here and said, <laughs> and said, uh-oh, what did I walk into? I need the story. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. I was made in miraculous recovery. The man flu is gone! The man, <laughs> you know too much. Abort. I know your husband. And hell no. Uh-uh, I see, I've seen for the last year and a half what you live with, uh-uh. It's a gem. It's a gem. It's a fucking jam. You know what I mean? Fuck. Um, anywho. <laughs> I don't know. The man flu is gone currently. Give it an hour or two. And we'll see. Like yeah, last night. Man flu was in effect once again. I can't do a lot. I just I'm too tired. I'm drained. I still linger. I can't function. 
Barely, I've had a busy day. I had to work for a couple hours outside of the house. And then I came home and shut myself off to the world. But I'm too tired. I, I'm too tired. You go on ahead without me. You, you can do it if you want. <laughs> he can barely hold himself on the count. The wave will hit. He explained. The wave comes in waves, you know? And then when he waves down, he's a fucking out. He's like a fucking tidal wave. A breached whale, you know? Flat on the bed. Oh, what are you doing? I'm trying to sleep. I don't feel good. Oh, can you keep my dad quiet? I can't function. Bring me my dog. Bring me my cats and leave me alone. Shut the door on your way out. Huh. Huh. Uh, well, we have our interview today. And then I'm going to get my luggage. I'm not going to be there very long, but I'm going to get my luggage. My luggage that I paid top dollar for. Yeah. Uh, give me my blindfold. The sun rays are too much. The UV reflection coming through the window is giving me my little brain a migraine. It's making me insane. Insane in the membrane. Um, yeah. Hello, Abita. It is 8.06, way too early. Danielle prefers to be on her ass legs up, feet up, head up, reading, drinking a cocktail. I don't enjoy being on this fucking death trap, nor do I enjoy being outside of nature. I'm an inside hermit crab. I could be a hermit crab. I could be a tortoise. Stay within my shell. Um, just, I do, do what? Uh, touche, touche. I have a lot of luggage. I have a lot of shit in my luggage. Hello, Jerry. I wear my sunglasses at night. <gasps> you don't do that. Don't do that, Jerry. I almost fell. Mm -mm. If I had, if only, if only, leg lady, I could probably. Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> you had. Fermented GSR, were you on last night when somebody asked me if I like fermented foods? Oh my God, I about pissed myself. <coughs> um, treadmills are better for your knees. Then why do people think that treadmills are bad for your knees? Treadmills so much better than running on the cement. So I don't understand. Uh, let me listen. Go see now. Uh, pauvre petite, yeah, pauvre petite Dan, yeah, poor, poor little Dan. <laughs> um, yeah, um, if you look at a treadmill, there's shocks that absorb your pounding. <laughs> you know, when you get pounded on the bed, same thing. You're protected by the mattress and the springs in the mattress. Um, it's better for your back, better for your hips and better for all around movement. You know what I mean? Let's do drunken Zumba <coughs> in bikinis. <laughs> yeah, don't make me pull out my physics on your asses. Mon petit coucou. <laughs> Mon, uh, smelt like shrimp. GSR for the love of Pete. Oh. <sighs> uh, told us treadmills are hard. That's funny. Heather said the elliptical commercials tell us that treadmills are bad for your joints. They do. Uh huh. They do. Mon petit cucou. Cucou. Mon petit pepe le pew. I don't know. Um, anywho, so, uh, no, I, I can't be at the casino very long today. It's bad. Long means bad. Long means not good. Uh uh. Um, I might get some food though. 
I might. I have $10 to spend in the food court. Monte Cristo. No, that's not fucking French, Jake. Try again. I know you know how to use Google. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mick Steamy. <laughs> Mick Dreamy. <laughs> Mick Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Anywho, um, I'm gullible. We all are. I was gullible. Jake told me a, a sweet little, sweet little lie. Tell me sweet little lies. Oh. Anyhow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I am in the mood to pick on people today. So am I retired? Never. Women never get to retire. If you're a woman, you have a husband and you have kids and you have <laughs> um, you, you can't retire ever. And you're a caregiver. I've taken over full caregiving responsibilities. Yesterday I said I was about 95%. Today I'm 103. Uh -huh. Life, I'm early. You're not late. Uh, where's Jake now, bruh? Where are you at, bruh? <laughs> where, where, where is Le Jacob? <laughs> Le Jacob, the kitty, the orange kitty got your tongue? <laughs> your tongue? <laughs> tongue? <laughs> Sorry, Giselle, I had to. I had to. I have a French uh, Canadian, <laughs> and she calls her tongue a tum. So we couldn't figure out because she said somebody broke their, their tongue. And I was like, how do you break a tongue? Have you anybody did what? A tongue? A tongue. Tongue, she said. Tongue. Thumb. Got it. <laughs> Jacques, 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 dans la boîte? Is he in a box? Jacques dans la boîte. <laughs> Jake, Jake it dans la boîte. Um, the, <laughs> no, unfortunately, my job doesn't ever stop. My job is 24-7. Not only does Dan need me, Grandpa needs me, my kids fucking need me, my animals need me, my house needs me, my neighbor needs me. Fuck, everybody needs me. You guys need me. Oh, fuck. Should I go on? Should I go on? Um... <laughs> did, did Jake leave? Jake's crying. He's crying in a corner. Fuck! Caroline's here. Shh! Play dead. Jake! 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 Où est là? Jake! Où est là? Jake ran away. <laughs> oh, Lord. You guys, I don't know. You know, I'm just trying to figure out my day, trying to figure out my purpose, and trying to talk to friends. That's it. I've got nothing else on the agenda other than caregiving um, and living life and getting my shit done. I need to read. I need to watch my TV shows. I'm so, I'm OCD with that stuff. It, oh, Jake est là. <laughs> Jake, 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 bonjour. Comment ça va, mon ami? <laughs> Tu es uh, unhappy. <laughs> Bonsoir. Bonsoir. No, that's good night. Bon matin is uh, bon matin. Good morning, Jake, my little friend, my pocket pussy. No, you're not a pocket pussy. I didn't mean that. My pocket, my pocket, my poly pocket. Jake is my mon petit poly pocket. Poly <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean the pussy part. The poly, down the poly bucket. I did not like that. The poly bucket. <laughs> a pocket pussy. Has anybody, can I ask a question? Yeah, it means he's tiny. A pocket pussy. Just like a pocket rocket, you know? Um, you're not being ghosted. What is the pocket pocket? The pocket rocket? Any, I want to know, has any man ever tried the pocket uh, kitty cat? Anybody ever buy that for their husband? Did it work? Asking for a friend. Are you still on? Asking for a friend. Let's go! Asking for a friend. How is the pocket pussy? Somebody is in need of one. Let's go! He's over here. Does it feel real? <laughs> Jacob. 
Have you <laughs> have you ever tried du pukit pussy? Du pukit macaroon. <laughs> um yeah. Well I was thinking, who's gonna send down a pocket pussy? Um you don't care. <laughs> a piece of liver? Ew. Dan wants my vagina. Get the blooming there's a blooming flower one? Yes. No, a pocket pussy? You had a pocket, um, a pocket cylinder. <laughs> Only if I get to meet grandpa. Done. <laughs> Jake has one in his box of toys. Um, I don't think that's his, he has a pocket anus. <laughs> Jake has a pocket anus. Ah, he's out here again. Let's I mean, go. I can't do any. To open the barn door. Let's go. The barn door is my asshole. Shut the door. Let's go. The chicken coop's waiting. Shut the door. Your rooster can wait. <laughs> a pocket bum. Can I have my pocket bum on speed dial, please? I want one with hair and one without. Thank you. It needs to fit about a three and a half inch or a little bit wider than normal. Yeah. All right. So the extra small is fine. Perfect. I like it a little tight on my little guy. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, he's looking for something. Uh, I know. He takes over the show when we're on it together. <laughs> Go put more bananas. Um, can Jake? <laughs> I would die. I would die. Oh, I will, Tam. That's right. Tam, I like. Tam is our record keeper. She's our book lady. She keeps records and reminds us of things that we forget. Um, so, Dan did a video last night on the Zoom. And I was triggered by him. And he's like, I mean, how many fucking triggers do you have for me? And I basically said, your whole person is a trigger. <laughs> and we should send Dan. I would die. Puse? Uh-huh. That cat like? You used it, Jerry? How did it feel? Dan wants his peck, peck, peck. <laughs> Dan wants his peck, peck, do peck the peck. The, I almost had to mute myself. <laughs> the pecker. Adam and Eve have a thicker, tickler. I don't, I don't want to be tickled. That's the problem. <laughs> Dan, Dan wants to be tickled. <laughs> uh, Dan always wants to be tickled. Um, I would die. 50 pocket kitties show up. What is this? I don't know. Go try it. There's some with hair, some without, <laughs> and there's a little bum. <laughs> try that one. You might get a tighter fit. <laughs> um, I know. I, I've had a tickler. What's the what's the tickler? Is the tickler like a little like a little buzzing tickler? I don't know. I've had a couple ticklers. Oh, is the tickler the one that spits on the, the man and then buzzes and tickles you? I don't know. Ticklers for everything is different. The peck peck. The peck peck is tired. Yeah. Because the peck peck is not really the man. Although I thought the peck peck was the man. It sounds more fitting, but the peck peck is my worn out, dried out roads. <laughs> The pick pick. Okay. My casita. My fine china. My fine china. I kind of thinking I like the fine china better. Ah, B.O.B.'s. Um, uh, Brandy, I know what a bob is. You don't need to spell it out for me. Maybe for some other people. Y'all know what a bob is. Uh, can, how many rounds can a woman do in bed? I mean, you don't have to work hard. You just lay there. I can feel the bean. You can't feel the bean anymore? <laughs> it's blue. Why is my bean black? Why is my... What happened? Is it dead? Yes. Maybe inject some Botox in it and bring it back to life. <laughs> no. I do not. Like the one... What was the movie with Gerard Butler and um, Katherine Heigl? when they did the vibrating underwear? Hell no. You know, Dan would be like, uh-uh. It would be crazy. Ed has never done that, no, because we don't have sex. <laughs> There's always that. Is eight inches too big? Yeah. I'm used to 2.5 <laughs> with a little girth. I don't know. Is that normal? I'm just kidding, Lord. Hi, Sally. Uh, I pump it up. I always wondered if those pumpers worked. Any man, Jake, where's Jake? Jacob, Jacob, ooh la. 
Call me C. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? This is what you graduated to? You're, I mean, you're talking, now you're talking shit about my unit. You're lying. I mean, I don't get it. How low can you go? How low can you go? Can you can possibly go? get any How low can fucking you go? low? Don't you have something to do? Why do you have yeah, to spend time? I have time? something to do, but you're out here. Get it ready. I'll be there in 20 minutes. <laughs> Go use the pump we have, you know? The one that makes it big and fat. <laughs> oh, fuck. Tammy, are you documenting? I need my, I need my, my book lady. <laughs> have you, I, I. <laughs> Life is backwards, he wants me. He wants the, Pick, pick. He wants my fine china. <laughs> Make a note of it. Make a note of how annoying Dan is because we're going to have to use it on the live when we're together and he's bugging the shit out of me. Trigger. Trigger number 527. Keep it going. Keep it going. The rise. Dran shriveled. Shit, he's back. Tammy, document it. How many times has he come out this morning? Interrupt us. Captain, interrupt us. Go pump it up. It takes about 30 minutes to get it ready. Take that little blue pill, too, because you know you need it. We're going to have to spice things up, baby. We're going to have to spice things Tammy, up. how many times has that been? And interrupt us. I'm online right now. I'm going to go check out some different websites. We're going to have to spice things up, I think. I'm sure you have a number or two you can call. <laughs> oh. Pump. Anyway, I really want to know. Anybody ever tried the pump? Is it like the thing like women have put on their lips and pump them up? I will pump you up. And does it work? Does it hurt? Like, do you, can you, have you excreted? Like, does it pump you up and turn you on, or does it get you to the point and then you forna, you know, forna, you know, cation? I don't know. Dan's always tingling. You need a willing recipient? Um, so does Dan. So does Dan. <laughs> uh, up, there's a, oh, well, I think if you have a certain, if you have um, paralysis, no, Peroni's disease, don't they... Oh, or don't, the, when you, I don't know. But yes, I think there's a device for people who have like extreme erectile d um, dysfunction and they do, they like, it's like a pump, they insert and you, that's what you do. So people have said, I don't know. Um, uh, he had prostate cancer, now has to pump it. Oh, so prostate cancer too. Is the prostate? involved in the pumping up i didn't know that i don't know my father-in-law had one but i never got into details see i almost would ask questions y'all i can't i i i'm just demented that way like i would really seriously want to know a cane that's called um there's a theory behind that uh, erectile dysfunction and sometimes people think too much about it and that's what causes it um direction of the curve. I think a curve would provide an interesting I'm still not um, against a curve. Um, maybe that's what we do. We break Dan's penis and spice things up. Make it curve to the right. So anybody have a, pref a preference? Um, I work at a clinic. There's a lot of things I can ask. I'm very fascinated about it. Um, I just ran an hour. My bell has parted and he has all kinds of problems. But so I didn't realize the prostate is, the prostate can affect the, uh, you know, I don't know. I didn't know that. Uh, there's a lot of things I learn every day from you guys, you know. Um, but yeah, interesting, interesting. Dumplings are an aphrodisiac. Um, yes, and so is fermented shrimp paste. So... Um, Jerry, put, sprinkle a little fermented shrimp paste on your dumpling and then see what happens. Cause I've heard that's really a stimulation for the prostate. 
The prostate is where the semen. Oh, it is? See, I didn't even know that. The prostate is where the semen gets made? Really? Huh. Uh, huh. Really? How did I not know that? I didn't know that. But what does that have to do with erection? In all honesty, I don't really know. What does that have to do with erection? Oh, finally a person who doesn't do things. <laughs> do you eat it? The prostate? Uh, I don't know. Some countries it may be a delicatessen. Um, the shrimp paste, I think you eat it. You could wear it. I mean, you can use it as like a, a lick and taste. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. Uh, I need more. I, now I need to go research the prostate because I had no idea. ED and incontinent. I was like, what does Ed have to do with incontinence? Um, he has ED and incontinence from the prostate. Uh, huh. Plus CNH. <laughs> Where are my nurses? Where's Kim? Is Kim in here? Bone meal? You like to gnaw on bones? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> and it's true. Uh, I believe it's it does when the prostate swells and gets too large. I didn't know that. And then it blocks things. Mm. Very fascinating. Very fascinating. Enlarged gland restricts the flow. Huh? Who knew? And then when you don't have an enlarged, what if you take it out? I need a new water pressure tank. For what, Goodman? Um, what if you were without a prostate? I still don't understand. Oh, it interferes with blood flow. Nurse here. Okay, Susan, it interferes with blood flow. Um, I would have been, you know, I just couldn't get through the medical school. <laughs> oh, gosh. I didn't know that. I learned something new. I'm very fascinated. I'm very interested. Just like, you know, we've talked about it all the time. Like, our, um, I'm very curious, but I don't want to sit and learn terminology. I couldn't do that. I don't have the brain for that. Um, and I'm very honest with what I think my capabilities are. I wish I had that desire to learn, you know? Um, many prostates are just... <laughs> Everybody's Google is going to be like, prostate? <laughs> it has an effect on the fluids and the nerves. So, and really, like, I guess if you don't have a prostate and that's where the semen goes, that's where the, you know, the lubrication comes from, right? Other than the sperm. But if you don't need the sperm, who cares? You just need the semen, right? To, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's very interesting. I have to do some research on it. I'm going to have to look into it myself. It makes the fluid. It's a gland ball. Hmm. Yeah, very interesting. Now we all know. And now I know. Now I know. The more you know. <laughs> Remember that commercial? Um, babies cannot be made if the prostate is out because that's where, right? If the prostate is out, no, because the semen that's made in the prostate keeps the sperm alive. So if you don't have the semen that the prostate makes, then the spermies die. Right? Am I understanding this? I'm not a nurse or a doctor, but I played doctor before, mostly when I was younger. Um, no, because they snip in the veins deferens, so that way the, the spermies cannot get, I think the sperms are made, gets like real cheese. No, they snip the veins deferens, which is the connection from your urethra to the testicles and the, the prostate I'm assuming gives you the semen and the semen goes into the testicles where the seeds are and then shoots it out the top <laughs> it's like a you know 
It's like a condensation thing chart. You remember the ocean? The ocean, the sun brings it up, and then when there's too much condensation, it just the rain. Oh. <laughs> see? Are you impressed, nurses, that I knew the van's deference? Yeah, see? 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 It makes sense, you know? Semen, prostate. No. Semen, yes, prostate, spermies, testicles. Semen goes into the testicles to collect the sperm, and out it goes through the urethra. Yeah. Yeah, it's called the Vans, the Vans Deference. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a shit show of a morning. <laughs> I've been all over the place between titties and feces and um, dead beans and flowers and, um, <laughs> but you remember that chart in science class, you know, at school, it was like, you know, the sun evaporates the, the ocean water and the ocean water goes back up into the clouds and the evaporation. And when condensation gets too much and it's just like a, and then it rains and it goes back and it repeats the process. It's a big circular thing. So it's the same thing with prostate testes out through the urethra. Yeah. See? See? Um, do I know about water pressure tanks? I know when my tank is not working that it's time to call the, um, the well guy. That's about all I know. Yeah. Um, you're welcome. Circle of life. It's a circle of life. Um, I did. <laughs> Thanks, Cenich. Um, I'm on both, Kane. I do both. I'm double fisted. Uh huh. Double fisted. Um, <laughs> so, Mike, there's only so much I can keep in my head. Um, there's only so much. What the fuck? I'm missing. What the hell's happening? Uh oh. Spaghettios. I don't even know how to do these things. I don't know. My weights are fucked up. Who fucked up my weights? I had them set and I don't know how to work them. Oh no. Hold on, give me a minute. I don't know how to do this. Oh no. Oh no. What is that? Why is that down there? WTF? I don't know what's happening. Somebody fucked up my weights. Why is it not clipped? No. Clip it. Clip it good. Ba -na 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 -na. Crack that whip. Ba -na 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 -na. Break your mama's back. Anyhow, sorry. I didn't know. I got to play with him for a little bit. Is Dan neutered? Yes. He's nerd. Um, yeah. Dan snipped. We snipped him a long time ago. Once we knew Andrew was a boy, we took him in and chopped him off. Mm -hmm. I said no more babies. I didn't even really want Andrew. I'm so glad he's around now, but I was done with my two. Um, and I was afraid I was going to have another girl and I did not want three girls. Um, no, Dan doesn't sabotage weights. I don't think he's picked up a weight in 20 years. Um, he snipped the two and a half incher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why we use the pump. You know, I need to pump you up. Uh, it's been downhill. Yeah. I don't know. Um, that's what she said. The pump. <laughs> so I saw this clip. Anybody watch Jimmy Fallon last night? I didn't see it, but it was with, um, he interviewed, uh, Jerry Seinfeld and it was the funniest little clip. Is anybody follow Jimmy Fallon on, um, TikTok? Because it was a really fun a, a little clip with, um, Jerry and how he described it. I was like, Oh my God, that's me. So he said, um, I hate family vacations. He said, I just hate family vacations. So, you know, Jimmy was like, well, what do you mean you hate family? He's, I hate everything about them. I hate everything about them. They're I just, I don't know. You know, my wife wants me. I don't want to go. I just don't want to go. It's going to be miserable. My wife complains. She gets upset when I'm not happy, but that's just me. I just, I don't like them. I know it's going to suck before I even go, right? I don't anticipate anything being good because I know it's just a big suck fast, right? Don't like it. And so Jimmy's just laughing. And of course, Jerry says it better. 
And, um, you know, he said something to the effect that um, it was, right, Brandy? Um, and he said something to the effect of, you know, that's what I do. My whole skit is about complaining. I complain, but it's normal, right? I'm complaining, but I'm still having a good time, but I just like to complain about it because that's what I do. And he's just talking about it. He's like, I just hate it. I hate everything. I really don't like anything. And it's okay if I'm not happy because I'm typically not happy because I'm pissed off about something, you know? Um, and it was just the funniest thing. I was like, oh my God, that's so me. I just complain. I complain about the basic things of fucking shit because people are fucking shit and life is a fucking piece of shit. And I know too, Jerry, I'm with you. If I take my kids and my husband on a family vacation, I don't want them coming with me. It's not fun. It's not fun. Jerry Seinfeld, if you are watching me, I get you. I understand. Family vacations are no fun. People are bitching. People are complaining. Everybody's at each other's throats. Why spend all the fucking money? I agree. Why spend all the money? The intent is to go out and enjoy yourself together. But nobody is ever happy. And there are some people that are happy at the moment and the other people aren't. And then it causes issues. It causes chaos. And it causes a fucking shit of a time. Everybody says go on family vacation. No. The only way to vacation is with your friends. Leave your fucking family behind because I can guarantee you on this trip to Mexico, one of the biggest naysayers is not going to be with us, right? She's not going to come, which she is, creates a lot of drama. Her and Dan bicker. And then everybody gets pissed off at them for bickering and every, and then I'm pissed off for why did I bring you guys? I can be miserable at home. Exactly. Why do I want to spend $20,000 going away from home and being miserable? Don't let Dan get a silicone implant. They are up 24 seven. Yeah, I don't want to go. I really connected with Jerry. I really connected with Jerry. The only way to vacation is without your family, without your husband, vacation with friends. Now that's a vacation. That's a vacation. It sounds good in theory. And Susan, every time I go, I'm like, oh, this is going to be the best family trip ever. Within two seconds in the car, I'm already regretting my decision. Two seconds. We all get in one car. It started already. Oh, that's a good idea. Take the kids and just leave Dan at home. That might be good, too. I don't even really think Dan likes going on vacation with the kids. I think it's the same thing. I don't know. I, you know, Ugh, Judy, I know he is the problem. <laughs> Kim, I realized that a long time ago. <laughs> Let me honk four times. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> but it's true. I felt so connected to Jerry in that moment. Yes, Jerry. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, my, yes, my kids, but my oldest is not going because she has law, she has her second year law, uh, two L finals. Um, and I just want to escape. Like, it's just like, why am I here with people who don't want to be here and don't want to try to have a good time? Can't we all just get along? You know, you know what I mean? Uh, on an RV vacation. Fuck the RV. Three days in, an hour in, in an RV with my family, I would kill every one of them. I would kill every one of them. It won't always be like this. I keep telling myself that, but when is it going to change? Kind of like, it won't always, I won't always have to pay for my kids. Like, 25, I, I did the very thing. I'm doing the very thing that I said I wouldn't do. And you know what that is? Once you graduate high school, you, I mean, once you graduate undergrad, you're on your own. You are on your own. That's what I told my kids. Once you graduate college and I pay for your undergrad, you are on your own. What am I doing? I'm helping her post-grad. I did the very
very thing I said I wouldn't do. I would never take my family in an RV. Do you know the kind of shit show that would be? I don't think you know who you're dealing with. Jennifer and Dan, number one, not a good match. <laughs> Then you have Hannah and me going, are you fucking believe, can't, can't believe this shit? Why are we here? Andrew's just in the corner playing on his fucking video game. Occasionally he says something or two. It's constant. Hail to the no. Nope, not going to do it. RV sounds like a fucking death mobile. It sounds like a trap. It sounds like a trap. You ask any of my kids, my, my family would be like an RV with all of us. No, but it would make for some great entertainment. It would make, my parents pulled the plug at 18. They should have pulled the plug a lot sooner. RVs are the worst inventions for families ever. No, I couldn't do it, Pepper. Oh, he's here again. I just can't get rid of him. He's like a herpes. Herpes are for life. <laughs> They just flare up. <laughs> He's getting toilet paper. He's taking a poo poo. Grandpa, you need to uh, stack, stock the bathroom. You, the hot water's running, by the way. Shower. Get the fuck inside. Hurry up. It's cold out there. Yeah, go inside and take your shit and leave me alone. <laughs> when the kids were little. I can see that. When they don't talk. <laughs> when the kids aren't... Um, your dad should have pulled out, yes. <laughs> Jennifer should have been a pull out. <laughs> I love you, Jennifer, if you're watching. She's not. Jennifer should definitely have been a pull out. <laughs> uh, Dan should have been a pull out. <laughs> Ed didn't get the message. I don't know. <laughs> Bye, Judy. I know I got to go too. <laughs> And Goodman, your mama should have spit you out. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine any arguments with your kids? You should have been aborted. I should have aborted you the minute I knew I was pregnant. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit balls. You too, Rebecca. Yeah. Next time you're in an argument with one of your teenagers or your grown son, yeah, you should have, I should have swallowed you. <laughs> That's the next argument with your son. Well, your dad should have pulled out. Then we wouldn't have these problems. <laughs> Big mistake. We took a risk. We gambled. We lost. Now we have you. Thank you for blessing me. <laughs> I should have swallowed your ass. Back when I did, I never did. I could have never swallowed one of my kids because I just... Uh, <laughs> him, I, him, yeah, we fucked up, Sadie. We fucked up. Well, Andrew, I try to squeeze out. <laughs> um, I, I try to squeeze out. I ran to the bathroom so quickly and I pushed and I squeezed and I bared down like I was having a baby trying to get all those little boogers out. Didn't work. <laughs> I am worthy. Good men, you are worthy. To somebody, you are worthy. <laughs> May not be your parents or your wife, but there might be somebody else out there you're worthy to. Poor Andrew. I did. I, I tell him that too. I told Andrew. I said, I squeezed and I clenched and I bared down to get your little fucker asses out, but that didn't work. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I want to tell that to Jennifer next time we're in a fight. Your dad should have pulled out. <laughs> or I should have aborted you. It's not a joke. That's not funny. Kind of. A little bit. He was a good swimmer. He made it. And that's what Dan's, that's what Andrew said. He goes, well, too quick for you. <laughs> for both mine to make it stick. I laid upside down for Hannah because I was having issues. I wanted to get pregnant with Hannah a lot quicker than I did. So I spent many a night with my ass up in the air. Yeah, feet up. <laughs> He's a stormtrooper. <laughs> I'm going to.
to tell them that. Andrew, you were my stormtrooper, baby. <laughs> Literally. Ugh. I know. What were the other swimmers? How many more swimmers were in that pack? How many packs of swimmers did you have? And why didn't the other ones make it? Why didn't the other ones make it? Why? Was Andrew the fastest runner? Today, as a human, he would not be the fastest runner. So that's a good question. I wonder what kind of other DNA little specimens would have been. What would he have looked like if it wasn't Andrew? Would it have been somebody else? Would it have been a brown haired baby like Hannah? How did the blonde win out again? That is the question. How did I get another fair baby? What, why, where? Um, yeah, Brent, now Melanie, you really got my brain going. I wonder what the other ones would have been like. <laughs> He was. Oh my God. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to finish my exercise because all I am doing is talking and getting cold. So thank you for the laughs. Thank you for the day. Um, TikTok uh, subscribers, I will try to be on a little bit later for you guys. Um, I think about it. now it's really going to fuck me up. Now I'm going to be like, God, what happened to the others? <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Have a great day. Remember, good men, you are worthy. You are worthy, you are important, and you matter, and so does everybody else. But Goodman's feeling a little sad today, so we need to give him a little pump up. Goodman, there is somebody out there that loves you. There is. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe three people. But at least it's someone, you know? It's someone. Don't forget about that. You guys and your feelings are your own. They're yours, and they're valid, whether or not people want to see it. You are a star, Goodman. You are a star, buddy. Pick yourself up off the floor and keep moving towards the prize. You too are loved. You too are loved. Anyhow, love you guys. Have a crazy day because crazy is better than bad. <laughs> there you have it. Come to my casita. Yeah, Goodman floats back and forth. I don't know. Anyhow, bye. Love you.